Now, sports from the FNBO Sports Desk. FNBO, the great big small bank. We steamroll closer to the start of the fall sports season here on today's update. We're going to talk some high school softball. Both Scott's Bluff and Gehring starting practice earlier this week, and I've been able to catch up with both programs here over the last couple of days. The Cats held a morning practice yesterday as they prepare for their season opener at Lexington a week from tomorrow. Scott's Bluff coming off another 20-plus win season that culminated in a trip to state a year ago. Head coach Dan Fox on the strength of this year's team. You know, I think the leadership, you know, we got seven seniors this year, and I think the they've been in the program now. This is their fourth year, and a lot of them, um, you know, some of those girls have played since they were freshmen, you know, as varsity players. And so the leadership, I think, is going to be a total strength. I already see it just in the, the practices that we've had just the last few days. They're helping out the other girls. Um, they know that to be good, they, all, all the players have to be good, you know, and, and know the mental part of the game, too. So I've, that's one thing I noticed right away, that the girls are just helping each other out. Scott's Bluff seniors Marley Lockamer and Tatum Heimerman should be in for big seasons this year. Um, strengths for this team um, for sure is always stealing bases. We've always been really aggressive on the base path and advancing as much as we can. Um, another advantage I think is our small ball game and really like making teams move and you know just making it harder for the other teams, essentially. Same expectations as last year, you know, make it as far as we can. State tournament would be great. Um, just having good camaraderie between the girls and just upping our game every year. Scott's Bluff sent open at Lexington a week from tomorrow. Now cross town at Gearing, the season starts a week from today as the Bulldogs are trying to find out what they're made of during camp this week. Head coach Zach Ostergaard sizing things up yesterday at Gearing's Media Day Scrum. I just want to have a competitive season uh, more than anything. You know, every day I want these girls to show up uh, with the best attitude, effort they can, um, and translate that to the field and be competitive as possible. Um, we've only had five practices so far, so it's kind of hard to gauge what we're what we have right now, but um, so far I enjoy what I see. I mean, everyone has great attitudes, everyone wants to work hard, and they all have the same common goal. Of course, the goal for Gearing every season to get to a district final and then roll the dice on a one-day scenario to try and reach the state tournament. At the high school level, it, as far as softball is concerned, it always comes down to pitching. It's going to be, there's a lot of talent in the panhandle. There's just a lot of, you know, Shattern Alliance, they have some older girls. Um, Shattern always have some competitive teams. Their coach does a really good job. You know, Scott's Bluff is always Scott's Bluff. They're going to be coached well. They're going to try to do things on the bases. And those are some games I'm really looking forward to. Um, although we're young and kind of inexperienced, I still think we have the right talent to be very competitive. The staff will be led by Sarah Weiss in the circle. Gearing will open at Gothenburg next Thursday. Next week, we'll get more from Scott's Bluff and Gearing, plus some WNCC volleyball, and we'll also be making a stop at Mitchell to check out the Tigers football team. That is the latest today from the FNBO Sports Desk. I'm Chris Cottrell.